Welcome back to Shop Don't Stop. I hope you've been enjoying the content so far, and today we have a very special episode for you. It involves this Toyota 86, and Shrikar is going to tell you more. So to give a little background on why it's called 860 Special Edition, I want to let you know that they made 860 of this solar orange color and 860 of the white color that this Special Edition came in. And they made 430 manuals and 430 automatics of each of the colors. So that's exactly why they called it 86 860 Special Edition. Lots of eights and sixes, I know. So we're going to move on to some of the cool features of the Special Edition that differ from the regular 86 that they launched. So from the front, you can already tell these stripes are really cool contrast to the solar color itself. And they run from the back, from the front all the way to the back, as you'll see later in the video. And additionally, Moving on to the lighting aspect here, they have these LED lights incorporated into the whole front. So these are LED daytime running lights they have here, as long as the LED HID bulb. And they even added the 86 logo into the housing itself, which was a nice touch. Moving on down below, they have LED fog lamps as well, which is a really nice premium feature to add to this vehicle. So as you can see the front of the vehicle, it's pretty similar to the other um, 86, but it's just the color and this lighting that kind of makes it a little different. So moving on to the side of the vehicle, first thing you notice is these nice gray 17 inch rims that are a little different than the regular edition. And that's definitely um, a cool feature that they added because it gives a little more pop from a distance. And as you can see, they did incorporate this side vent and 86 badge again. It would have been nice if the side vents were real, but I think aftermarket they offer a lot of options to add in some actual airflow here. So not much is different other than those two parts, but one cool feature I wanted to also point out is it has the comfort access lock and unlock. So basically if you grab the handle it'll unlock and if you push these two slots it'll lock. So moving on to the back of the car, you see this really nice low profile spoiler that they added. Although it doesn't really do much, it really adds to the accent of the car in the back. And as I told you earlier, these stripes come in all the way to the back here. It's a really nice feature that it has continuity throughout the car. And in addition to the front LED lights and fog lights, these tail lights are all LED as well. It's a really nice feature added on there for some premium feeling. And one, else, one other thing I wanted to point out is this has the TRD Special Edition Exhaust. So this is an $1,100 option, but um, it's a true dual exhaust and it even has TRD etched into the side. All right guys, so moving on to the interior here, I just wanted to point out a couple differences from the regular Toyota 86. So what's mainly different here is this digital LCD panel that they added here. So that's usually on the Subarus, which are a little more expensive trim compared to the Toyota and Scion versions. So it's a pretty nice little feature here. Got, you have your fuel gauge and your digital uh, speedometer here. And then on the right, you can flip through with the switches right here. And you can flip through and see your mileage, um, you know, total time travel, trip computer, stuff like that. And even your temperatures right here, which is a cool little LCD display. And if you go to the next um, page on here, you can actually see a G-force meter, which is really cool. So if you ever take this car to the track um, or you're, you know, you're just going through some hilly roads, you're able to see during your actual turning, the G-force is acting on your car. And another cool thing I thought was this graph of the um, horsepower and torque. So as you can see, there's a power dip right there, but um, in real time, this does show you the um, horsepower and torque, which is really innovative. All right, so moving on from the speedometer area, moving to the center console here. As you may notice, a big difference here is the digital climate controls, which is a really nice feature, and you get dual zone, which normally doesn't come in the Toyota 86. So a lot of these uh, additional um, differences are usually in the Super BRZ version of this car. So like this push button, start stop button, these switches and the digital climate normally doesn't come in the Scion FRS or Toyota 86 versions, but since this is the special edition, they added that in there. And also something to note is this touch screen. I'm not sure if this comes standard when the regular Toyota 86 is, but I did notice that 
it's usually one of those radios with the CD um, that you can have, but this touchscreen comes standard on the special edition. And one thing to point out is there actually is no CD uh, slot here. So it's all through Bluetooth or USB control. All right, so moving on from the center console area down here, we have the trash control off and track buttons, but this is in all the regular Toyota 86 and the Scion FRSs as well. So this isn't anything different. But what's cool is the special edition here has the 860 special edition badge, as well as heated seats standard, which don't come in the other vehicles. One more thing I want to mention here is that they added these upgraded aluminum pedal covers for the 86 special edition, which is a really nice touch, especially since it gives you a more premium feel and it gives you a little extra grip when you're trying to drive, especially since this is a manual vehicle. Thanks for tuning in on this video of Shop Don't Stop, where we said goodbye to the Toyota 86. We hope you guys enjoyed the walk around footage and the drone footage that we got, and you're ready for the next video. So please like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe as well. And leave a comment below if you have any questions about Toyota 86, and I can get those answered for you. And finally, on this side, we have our original Range Rover Revival video. And on this side, if you have any interest in installing off-road lights on your own vehicle, we have a light bar installation video. And remember, shop, shop don't, don't stop. stop.